giving us a good health and sound mind to see the bright morning this wonderful day. And he has added us a sweet atmosphere for all of us. So he is worthy to be praised this morning. So we give our glory, honor to our living God. This morning, my heart is filled with gratitude, is full of acknowledgement, because this is the first history in Auburn, in Abway. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the first page that tragedy after so many years. So I'm very glad to be here this morning in this historic moment in memory. Uh, out of many pastors who invited me to be here this morning, I'm, I just consider myself that I'm a one of the fortunate and luckiest person, a very blessed one. <laughs> this is what I consider myself because this is the first time uh, this politics is tragedy and at this very moment so this morning government politics away more Nagaland fellow program lady and most respected our principal and teaching staffs and all the professors and graduate students and junior students this morning, before I lead into prayer, let me just share my feeling with you. Because you are going to complete something this morning. You are going to graduate or accomplish something which is you are keep on doing in your life. So, one way you are finishing some tasks. But then, what I would like to say is that this morning onward, now onward, you have to cross so many oceans, uh, so many rivers, so many streams. Why? Because you are going to reach the ocean, right? There's so many rivers are flowing. The only destination is to reach the ocean. There will be ocean. Okay? So every river, single river, every minute second running one after another is just to reach the ocean. So you are the same activities that you are going to carry to reach your destination. The one saying says that if you go fast, then you go alone. If you go far, then you go together. So which way that you choose? And where are you aiming? And you are going to reach? This is the question that I give to you. The one thing is that you are accomplish something else, but this is the beginning for you. The world is so many challenges in every minute second. That's why even this from the very beginning of this program, a most respected principal keep a challenge with award, right? Why he is giving all this, all those tools to challenge you to come up? Because he knows the ocean is there. He don't want to just send simply because you are going to sing it. Even the Titanic seems uh, uh, seems saying right here the story. So he saw that he had experience. To that very ocean that he's going to send. That's why many professors stand up and encourage. If not, he's supposed to be simply just listen to your song and watching your performance. Just uh, get out of the way. This is what he's supposed to do that. But then, you know, within a short time, they just rush to the stage and say something. Yeah? Please study hard. I don't want you to be lukewarm, but I want you to be bookworm. This is what they say, right? Lukewarm, you know, the one who will always live with boom. Lukewarm is always with mobile, right? <laughs> so the principle says that you just make like a bookworm. Be with boom. This is what they encourage you. Because they already know that there is a ocean. You cannot die. If not, you will just sing it away. Secondly, 
you are going to climb up so many hillock, you know, Nyantin hillock, Lamming hillock, Apau hillock, many hillock, just to reach the top of the mountains. There is a decree. In order to climb up the hillock, we need stamina, we need idea, we need strength, we need balance. You cannot just climb, right? <laughs> like Michael Jackson's time. Yes or no? You know, where we have to hold it. How to hold it. We have to dig it. We have to step. And how to break. How to balance your muscle body. You know. And determination is very important again. So that you will love fall. You must have to be stand from where you stand, right? Then only you can climb up so many hills just to reach the top of the mountains. So you have to cross so many rivers, you have to climb up so many hills just to reach the ocean as well as the top of the mountain. Okay? So I don't want just to be a successful person. As the saying says, I want you to be a valuable person. Value, you know. Valuable. So I want you to be a valuable person. I don't want you to be a, just a successful person. Many successful person is there around the world. You know, but nobody uses it. Even church they don't recognize who they are. Even their colony doesn't know. This graduate person are just lying in somewhere and playing mobile game. A very sad story that coming up nowadays. So these people are just successful person. Okay? So I want you to be a valuable person. Valuable, there is always include a success. Automatically success is include. So this morning, wherever you go, as a pastor, I encourage you to choose to walk in the light of God. Okay? I don't want you to choose to walk in the darkness. When you choose to walk in the darkness, you know what happened? You even your own shadow will not follow you. Forget about your principal, your professor, your mom and dad and friends, pastor. Forget about your boyfriend and girlfriend. If you choose to walk in the darkness, even your own shadow will not follow after you. When we walk in the light, only our shadow follow, right? So I want you to walk in the light of God as well as live with the people and be humble. Above all, be humble. How many degree you earn, no matter what, be humble. If we are not humble, then there is only one way, stumble. The stumble people, you know, right? So. I want you to choose to walk in the light. So may your life bloom where you planted. Okay? Suppose one rose flower, rose flower, nowadays we just a uh, uh, famous sunflower, you know that? <laughs> it's very familiar for a boy. Sunflower. Nowadays science, without study, science students are graduating here again. <laughs> Many science students are here. <laughs> you know, it's uh, learning the degree. So, you know. So, sunflower. If I plant here in the sunflower, this sunflower will not bloom in the moon town, right? So, where you planted, so I want you to bloom there, okay? As the Bible says, let your light shine before colony, war, institutions. And don't expect wherever you go to change your life by institutions. It's never going to happen. You are the one who is going to change the institutions, society. God given you not only power, but authority. Okay? So, may your life bloom where you planted. I want all the final years to stand in your feet. Please. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me 
and hear my cry. He drew me up from the dissolved pitch out of the merry book and set my feet upon the rock and making my steps secure. Hallelujah. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see in fear that put their trust in the Lord. I supposed to be slipped away in a very simple way. I supposed to be spoiled away. I supposed to be, you know, broken away in a very dangerous beat. But without my seeing witness of and problems and adversity, God saved my life. According to my lifestyle, I supposed to be spoiled away. But in a knowing time, God saved my life. He protect my life. And he make my steps secure, you know. And he put a new song in my mouth that today I come into conclusion. It is all not because of your goodness or faithfulness. If not, someone already passed away, your friends, from the beginning of this month. But you are here this morning. So this morning is very right time to give thanks to God. <coughs> so now your mouth is filled with gratitude with thanksgiving because the Lord has been so faithful in the throughout our academic. So this morning I am going to pray for you, principal, and all the teaching stuff, including all the announced faculty stuff. So their life will be continuously generating a blessing.